I'm so glad you could join us here at the Lab Preschool. We have a very special guest joining us today, and I need your help welcoming her on her stage. Can everybody stand up and clap and hoot and holler? Today! Hi! Look who joined us today! Welcome, Pastor Kathy! Oh, thank you, Miss Lisa. I am so excited to be with you here, boys and girls. I'm so excited to have you with us. Now, boys and girls, we've been learning a memory verse. And I would love to show Pastor Kathy how we do our memory verse. Can everybody get on up again and let's show her the memory verse. So here we go. You ready? One, two, three. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Oh, that was really good. Now, could I have a turn trying? I would love to have you try. And could we try with a really deep voice, boys and girls? Can you show me your deep voice? Show the deep voice. Here we go. One, two, three. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. Oh, oh, those are some great deep voices, boys and girls. Way to go. Pastor Kathy, we've also been playing a really fun game. Would you like to join with us? Oh, it's I Spy. Because it is. we've been doing an I Spy unit. And boys and girls, we're in the last weekend of the month of June. So I think we should go over everything that we've learned so far. So the first thing that we learned in June was that the Bible held true stories about Jesus. So I want to try and find our Bible. Oh, Kathy, ready. are you ready? Boys I'm and ready. girls, get out your binoculars and let's look. Oh, <gasps> there it is. Did you find it? The Bible full of true stories. You are amazing. That's way to go. True stories about Jesus, which is the next object that we're looking for. Can we find Jesus somewhere? So get out your binoculars again and let's look. Oh, I found him. <gasps> Here's Jesus. Now, not really Jesus, but it's like a puppet. So it helps us think about and remember Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Now, the last thing we learned, and we learned this last week, boys and girls, we learned all about to show others the love of Jesus. And somewhere we have hidden a heart. Can you help me find it? Here we go. Binoculars up. Now let's look. Oh, there's something red behind you, Miss Lisa. <gasps> it's a heart. Way to go, boys and girls. Now this week, we have another amazing story from the Bible, a true story about Jesus and one of his disciples. Yes, actually, it's about two special men that didn't know each other and became friends. So boys and girls, when we watch the video, can you remember the names of those two men? Let's get on up and let's go to that story. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. friends and welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy, and my friend Poppy left us some secret words to find. All I have to do is paint this page. See? I think there's a secret word on here somewhere. Let's keep painting. Do you spy the secret word? I spy with my little eye the word Hello, that's how you say hi in English. Can you turn to your neighbor and say hello? Hello to all of you. Should we do another one? I'm gonna try blue this time.
Do you spy the new secret word? I spy with my little eye the word hola. That's hello in Spanish. Can you say hola with me? Hola. Now turn to your neighbor and say hola. Yes, I love it. You just said hello in two different languages. Wow. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hola, Lucy. Who? Who? Telling each other hello, are you? Poppy left us these fun different ways to greet each other. Saying hello is fun. Who? Who? But there's so much more to tell others, too. So let's hear the story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> They're my Tell All the World Cupcakes. I made them because today's story is about how we can tell the whole world about Jesus. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today we are going to play I Spy to find a man named Peter. Do you see him? Get out your pretend binoculars. Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye. Peter! Peter was a fisherman. That means he would get in a boat and go out on a lake to catch fish. Peter believed in Jesus because Peter saw that Jesus is alive with his very own eyes. Jesus told Peter and his other friends that he would come back again. But until then, he wanted them to tell everyone that Jesus is alive. And he wants to be their friends forever. Then he left and went to heaven. Jesus' friends did just what he told them to do. They told everyone everywhere Jesus is alive. He wants to be your friend forever. One day, some men who were different than Peter came and knocked on his door. Knock with me, ready? Knock, knock, knock. They asked Peter to come to their house and tell all their friends about Jesus. Peter knew that Jesus loves everyone, no matter what they look like or what language they speak or where they live or what they have done. So Peter said he would go to their house even though they were different than him. Do you see someone that Peter can tell about Jesus? Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye someone Peter can tell about Jesus. Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, even though they were different than him. Peter told them about the amazing things that Jesus did. He told them about how Jesus died and came back and is alive. He told them he knows Jesus is alive because he talked with Jesus and even ate food with him. After Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too because everyone can believe in Jesus. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive, and we can tell everyone about it, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Peter got to tell everyone that Jesus is alive because everyone can believe in Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I love that we can tell everyone about Jesus, no matter how they say hello. Let's see if Poppy left us more words to spy. See you later, bye. Well friends, wasn't that an amazing story we just heard? Did you remember the two people in the story? 
there was Peter. And there was Cornelius. That is such an interesting name, but a long name. Let's practice saying it. Let's say it slowly. Cornelius. Now a little faster. Cornelius. Now all together fast. Cornelius. So Cornelius was a Roman soldier and Peter was a Jew. They came from two different groups of people and they were not friends because the Romans ruled and led the Jews. But Jesus wanted Peter to tell the Romans all about him because Jesus wants us to be a friend to everyone. That's right. The message of Jesus is love is for everyone in the whole world. So if you believe in Jesus, maybe you're ready today to ask Jesus to come into your heart and life and lead you for the rest of your life. So I'd like to give you that opportunity right now. Can you shake your hands, flex your fingers, and bring them together. Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, Thank you so much that your love is for everyone, even for me. And Jesus, I want to ask you to come in to my heart and to my life and to lead me the way you want me to go the rest of my life because I believe in you. And Jesus, please help me to take that message to everyone that I meet and share your love with them so that they too can come to know you as, as leader of their life and that you love them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Boys and girls, if you made that decision and said that prayer with Pastor Kathy, we're so excited for you. And we would love for you to go tell someone special that is with you today about the amazing decision that you made to have Jesus in your heart and in your life. Well, Pastor Kathy, thanks so much for joining us today. We're so glad to have you with us. It's been great to be here. And everyone, remember, go tell someone that Jesus loves them. Bye! Bye. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. I wanna sing about